All right, AP, here's sample exercise 3.32, calculating numbers of atoms. A silicon chip used in an integrated circuit of a microcomputer has a mass of 5.68 milligrams. How much silicon, or sorry, how many silicon atoms are present in the chip? Go ahead and press pause now because here comes the solution. So the strategy for doing this problem is to convert milligrams of silicon to grams of silicon. Then once we're in grams of silicon, we can use the molar mass of silicon to identify how many moles of silicon we have. Once we have <coughs> uh, the number of moles of silicon we have, we can use Avogadro's number to convert that into a number of atoms of silicon. So we're going to have to do three different conversions. <coughs> they look as follows milligrams of silicon on the denominator so that'll cancel out milligrams of silicon here I generate grams of silicon I take this number grams of silicon convert away from grams of silicon into moles of silicon to generate this value now I'm in moles of silicon I'm going to cancel out moles of silicon to, uh, to yield atoms of silicon and my final answer is 1.22 times 10 to the 20th atoms my reality check Note that 5.68 milligrams of silicon is clearly, clearly much less than one mole of silicon. One mole of silicon has a mass of 28.09 grams. So the final answer of 1.22 times 10 to the 20th atoms, when, when we compare that to Avogadro's number, is in the right direction. It's uh, <coughs> uh, several exponents smaller than Avogadro's number, which is something that we should expect for this particular calculation.